Hello, my fellow comrades. It is Soldier Dude Gaming here, and welcome back to another Metaphor Soul Squad 2 video. Today, I'm bringing you guys yet another tutorial. This time on Gorilla Warfare. No, no, not not that Gorilla. What I mean by Gorilla Warfare, sorry, Gorilla, um, is basically, um, think of it kind of like the the North Vietnamese in the, in the Vietnam War. They used the trees and they used um anything to their advantage they would basically perform hit and runs on the enemy they would um do surprise attacks and they would run run away and uh that's basically kind of like a tutorial on what i'm going to show you guys kind of like a little bit of an example so we're here in the arden forest or i guess you could say like an outskirts of the arden forest we have yes, a squad of 82nd air uh 82nd airborne uh soldiers and they're mission is to kill an, a high-ranking enemy officer somewhere over here and we also need to destroy um the fuel this fuel depot and all the vehicles that are inside of it mainly these uh tanks and armored vehicles so yeah um one of the main things about guerrilla warfare Infantry like i said war. earlier is hit and run tactics where you would pretty much Big just boy, um you know you would go attack the enemy, and then quickly run away into hiding into the woods or something. So, with us we have yes, a marksman. His name is Robert Robinson. <laughs> okay. So, what we're gonna do... Go, go, go. We're gonna tell him to go over here onto this dirt path, and we're gonna try and snipe this officer somewhere over here. Actually, there, there he is. He is right here. This guy over right here. Not the guy with the two submachine guns, but the guy that's just, um... He was the one that was popping a cigarette in his mouth. Yeah. That's the guy we need to kill. So we're going to get our sniper. Once he's in a good position, we'll take the shot and see if we can't uh, kill him. All right. And also, guys, remember, when you're, when you're doing stuff like this, for example, uh, it could, this, could, this, this officer could be like a, you know, a tank or something. Once you kill your target or you take out your target, you have to make a run for it if you're gonna do like the regular warfare stuff like me so we're gonna take the shot see if we can kill him <laughs> nice squared him right in the head now we gotta retreat our get our dude to retreat all we gotta do now is just make a run for it over to our boys over here the germans are gonna follow us and this is where there's gonna be a trap i guess you could say so as our dude's going over here, our troops are going to start sir. opening fire on the enemy once they see them. Here they come. Bunch of German uh, forces. A couple of riflemen, some machine gunners, automatic riflemen. Oh, see look at that? Seems that they've uh, they stopped. Stopped looking for us. Look at that. Actually, we're going to put our dudes on you, oh, return fire mode. And we're going to get them to get down on the ground. Ah, dang, I think we just got spotted. Yeah, we got spotted. I was trying to move the dudes around, but they got spotted. Now Sir. we're just going to put them on open fire. Get on this brick wall again. And boom! We're going to start, yeah, start killing the uh, German forces here. You can see on the map all the uh, German forces that are here. Not a lot, but it's not a lot as uh, all the people over there at the repair yard and the fuel depot. Easy to see us. I think it's just out of. I think they're just out of range. We're right, moving forward. Actually, let's just get our dudes. Listen up. Get down again. This time. Yeah, that's fine. I guess they, they just still see us either way. Even if we do crouch down, we'll just have to kill him anyway, I guess. Ooh, there's a machine gunner right here. That's not good. Not good at all. Okay, we need to kill that dude as soon as we can. Because the MG42 is a, uh, which is the gun that is, um, this guy's holding, is, uh, a high, is a high rate of fire. It's a uh, really, really, really good machine gun in the hands of someone uh, really, really good with it. For example, this machine gunner. 
Oh, the stood up hang on instantly hacked. Ooh. So he's got, oh, man, seeing with that dude, helmets are just flying. I think that might be our marksman, our dude with our uh, little sniper rifle here. Yes, see how many kills he has. He has one, so Robert Wilson has, uh, Robert Robinson has one kill. Yes. This uh, machine gunner, Todd Watson, has four. Right, that's it. Let's move out. Tactical columns, da gentlemen. Danny Jacin? Janice has one kill. Ryan Henderson has no kills. Yes, does Nathan Jones or actually no, Roger Wood has two kills. Sir. So if they yeah, look at that, they're retreating now. And all we had to do was just to kill that enemy officer, and we did with ease. That was a really, really nice shot by our marksman. His his uh his officer's cap went flying all the way over this fence. Wow. That's your thing. So now we're gonna try and move over to the uh repair depot. Now another thing with the, that that's really nice in this game is that um there's a bunch of foliage that you can hide in. For example, these bushes or um you can even make your own foliage with like machine gun nests and stuff. But basically use foliage whenever you can in, in these kind of stealth missions because they may save your butt. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've had a couple instances where uh, bushes have saved my troops from being discovered. So I recommend that you guys, um, when you're in missions like this, you have to take advantage of your surroundings and, you know, try and move as stealthily as possible. All right, our forces are making their way over to the repair yard. Now, yes, once we get there, we're going to have to... Uh, basically just throw some grenades over here because, as you, as you guys can see, there's plenty of explosive materials around here. There's explosive barrels, these big gas canisters, all these vehicles all, all over the place. And, uh, if we can get, if we can cause a chain reaction, we can knock out a lot of the, uh, forces here. As you can see, there's a couple of tanks here, some crewmen just hanging out, working on repairs and stuff. Yeah, a bunch of tank crew. Everywhere, some armored cars, some tanks. What's your infantry, mainly? Now, we don't have to worry about these guys anymore. Uh, these guys over here, we don't have to go over to them and kill them. I mean, we can if we want, but uh, rather not go, kill all your troops right there. Because our main objective was just to kill that officer. And then once we, had, once we killed him, we had to just, you know, run for the hills. Quite figuratively yes, and literally. And then we're going to do the, pretty much the same thing over here at the field depot. We're going to uh, sneak a dude over there, throw a grenade into this pile of gas canisters, and then once these guys uh, get alerted, we'll move up and then attack them. we got to catch them by surprise. Another, another art of guerrilla warfare, or I guess you can um, just call it more of like an ambush or like a distraction. Basically, you just you got to keep... You just got to... Make a distraction for them, and then once you're they're distracted, you move up, and then you just mow them down, pretty much. I'm on it! That way they don't know you're there, stuff. And plus, we just need to take out the... Because that's one of our main objective, is to take out the refueling depot and all these vehicles. Yes. Okay, so we're going to move up to this brick wall right over here. Try not to get discovered. That's your thing! Once we get over to there, we'll grab a dude, most likely to do with a submachine gun or a rifle we'll go get him to throw a grenade over here that should blow up all these gas canisters and then it should blow up a majority of the, all these vehicles over here and cause a massive chain reaction if we're lucky all this all this stuff over here is definitely going to get blown up because I mean, these all these fuel tanks this tank or this uh, tank destroyer or self-propelled gun yeah all this stuff's going to get blown to kingdom come yes sir all right, so our troops are moving in. We'll Got grab it, this dude. We'll grab Danny Jones. Only has one kill. Soon that'll change. Um, we need to watch out for some of these dudes, like this AT infantry. I think what we'll do, yes. we'll move along these bricks. We'll go behind this windmill, and then we'll go uh, right behind this house, and we should be in throwing distance over here. We'll meet you guys over there once we've... Uh, 
gotten behind that windmill. All right. So Danny Jones Listen has up, um gotten behind this. Wind. I was about to say Davy Jones. He's have all these Jerry's in Danny Davy Jones' locker. Um. So now we're gonna yes, sneak sir. behind this house, and then once we do, I don't think anyone should see us, unless they have a really, really uh, have some really, really good. Right. Here they come. Yeah, oh, they know. They know. Let's hurry and throw a grenade. Grenade. All right. Prepare for a massive explosion in three, two, one. Now. Ooh. Trees of green, red roses too. I see the blue everywhere in you, and I think to myself, "What a wonderful world!" All right, enough of uh, enough of my shenanigans. So we pretty much destroyed this fuel depot. Now we're gonna have to get out of here. So let's move our troop back. I guess we'll just yes, make them run. All right, that's it. Let's move out. Let's get our troops over here. Danny Jones is taking some hits, but he's okay. He's a soldier. He can get on with it. We didn't destroy some of these vehicles, though. We've just we destroyed uh, a bunch of the fuel tankers. We destroyed this tank over here. Actually, no, it's still alive, but it's okay. We'll just take care of it once we get over there. Some of the infantry is pushing up. Not a really good decision of them. Ooh, yeah, pop right in the head. Yeah, the infantry is getting killed. There's some squad leaders over here. Those guys are going to be really good to take out, mainly just because they're uh, they're in command of some of their troops. A bunch of tank crewmen over here too. There's still some unexploded ordnance over here. Yeah, un unexploded uh, substance, some substances. Jeez, I just cannot talk. Oh. It seems that this guy is staring at a wall for some odd reason. Okay. But now that these guys are, they're basically going in to look around pretty much. They're looking around for any survivors, man. A bunch of these guys are just completely dead. There's also, there's also some troops over here at this little office area. A bunch of tank crewmen are dead. This armored vehicle is dead. I think this armored car is still alive. Get the fuck out of there. Move, move. Okay, so once these once these guys have completely lost us, we're we're gonna move, and then we're just gonna try and you know sneak up on them. I think they may have discovered us. Our position you know is what? I need move you stop. Up. Push on. Okay, I guess we'll just open fire pretty much. If they see them, we'll just open fire. Sir. Can this guy not shoot? Oh, come on. Kill squad leader. Okay, apparently there's like an invisible wall there and I cannot kill him. I know, right? What, what on earth is going on? Yeah, that's probably one of the most relatable voice lines any of my soldiers have made. <laughs> Did I just speak like two of the same voice lines? I think so. Um. All right. So what we're gonna do now is once since they're they're pretty much kind of occupied right now, we're gonna move our troops over into those bushes. They won't see us. And then we're gonna basically sneak around these houses, go behind this brick wall, and we should be able to kill some of them and shoot these barrels. Maybe cause a little bit more damage to the uh, German forces here. Alright, so let's move over behind this wooden fence. Not really going to provide us any cover, but... Yeah. So we need to destroy the rest of these vehicles here. We need to destroy this Stug 3. This verbal vent. This verb... The verbal wind. You know what the verbal wind does, Hans? It's the verbs! And we also need to destroy this Panzer IV Aus G and this SDKFC 222 armored car. That's pretty much all we need to destroy in order to yes, complete sir. this mission that I've made for us. Oh, seems everyone's open fire. Uh-oh. Move, men, move, move. 
or get behind this house pretty much. Yes, Remove these troops inside the yes, windows so that way they can pretty much yes, like, you know, shoot shoot out of them. If anyone comes over here. Doesn't seem they're really coming over here though. They're kind of like occupied. Trying to pick up the remains of our mess. So we're just gonna move our troops over here behind this brick wall. And then our sniper should get a good shot on these. Oh never mind! Oh no! I don't know if you guys just saw that, but there was a soldier over here. There was a squad leader, but a barrel fell right on top of him. Oh man, that poor, poor soul. Alright, I decided to move my troops up because we're going to try and move up to this house and clear out the rest of the Germans in the area. We haven't lost a single person. Really good. We bring all our, our boys back home to their loving uh, families. Maybe get a Medal of Honor or a Purple Heart. Okay, so we can't throw a grenade. We can't throw an AT grenade, but if we can throw a grenade over here, we can probably throw this random tank. Oh, never mind. We already did it. Oh! Unfortunately, we just lost a dude. I guess uh, some machine gunner got a, got a nice shot on him. There he is. He was a tank commander. Dang it. Never mind. Man, I freaking jinxed our troops. I said, we're gonna bring all of our boys home to their loving wives and families. And then one of them gets instantly shot. Rip. Well, the good news is, most of these troops have already been cleared out. So, yes, sir. yeah, that's good, I guess. Alright, we move our troops a little bit over here. Let's move our guys over here into these windows. I feel like some machine gun hasn't even killed anyone. What? Another guy just died just because. Wait. Oh yeah, we have satchel charges. We just saw. We lost another dude though. Another uh, submachine gun got a shot on him. We're gonna throw a satchel charge right over here. Oh. And yeah, this is this this is just gonna blow this thing to smithereens. That was magnifique. <laughs> Alright, so that armored car is definitely destroyed. Only a couple of... Only a couple of infantry left in the area, so that's good. We lost two men, fortunately. Move our troops up a little bit. Now, um... We could probably throw a grenade over there, actually. There's a squad leader? Oh! Nice shot. Alright, so... Okay, there's a tank crewman over here. That's who's over here. So we're gonna throw a nice grenade over there. Boom! <laughs> oh, man. Kind of feel bad for that dude. Alright, so there's one more... One more soldier. He is a automatic rifleman. Get him. Get him, boy. Get him. Come on, come on. Get him. Oh, come on, he's healing. Come on. Dang it. That, yeah, that dude's healing up. I oh, I can't shoot him. I think it's because of that telephone pole. Come on, poke your little head out. Poke it. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Come on. Ah, he's so chicken. <laughs> Move the rest of our troops up. You know, I'm pretty sure this machine gunner does not have a satchel charge, but if we look inside here, we got some dynamite. So we're going to throw it right here in between these two tanks. All right. And now that's going to blow up these three vehicles. Perfect. And explosion. Oh, yeah, that's just beautiful. Look at all the debris and stuff flying everywhere. There's the turret of the Panzer IV, and that's the Werbelwind turret. Wow, it, wow, we got a massive hole in the uh, side of that thing. That thing's completely 
destroyed. Well, duh, the whole ammo, all, all the ammunition on that thing went up. Of course, it's completely destroyed. Okay, so it seems that they've killed the last Let's dude over there. And now to complete the mission, we're going to destroy Run this Skug, this uh, German tank destroyer or self-propelled gun. Yes, sir. Uh, who has another satchel charge? Sir. No. Yes. No. Uh, we'll just use a anti-tank yes, grenade. That'll do it. Can you stop? I keep. I gotta. Yes, sir. I gotta tell these guys to discipline themselves. Stop saying curse words. Wow, that did nothing. I might also just use some, get some more dynamite. Alright, so now let's just throw the dynamite on the ground right here. Or... Okay, our dude is kind of stuck there. Oh, there's still another German over there! Alright, grenade. Bada bing bada boom! Nice. Now let's move up to this destroyed tank. And let's kill this last German over here. You can probably throw a grenade over there and kill the... Yes, destroy the jeep, actually. Let's do that. Down, oh, he has the same idea. He's gonna throw a grenade over there, too. Move out. Keep low. Oh, come on. Come back here. You're no fun. Why are you running away from us? You're no fun. Oh, come on. He killed another dude. I can't even shoot over there because this barrel of the Skug's in the way. Alright, that's it. Let's move out. Tactical columns, gentlemen. I can shoot his little legs. Come here, Jerry the German. I'm going to shoot you, you little feet. You like that? Huh? You like that, Jerry? Oh! Finishing move! Bang! Nope. Bang. Nope. Where's his little feet? There he- Oh! He's not dead yet. No. Can you just like- Oh! Oh, I shot him right in his like knee or something. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Plus three dudes. All due to that one- That one, uh, SMG infantry. That one automatic rifleman. If you guys enjoyed the episode, do be sure to uh, like it, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell. It really does help out the channel. And if you guys have any other suggestions on uh, tutorials or episodes on Men of War I should make, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!